Hey everyone, welcome to Weekly Weird News, and this episode is sponsored by Quip and by HelloFresh. And thank God this is sponsored, because here comes the demonetization. Marijuana, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, marijuana, cannabis, whatever you call it. CBD? No, I don't well, know. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to talk a lot about CBD here, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, marijuana in general has become insanely mainstream compared to just a few years back. Mm-hmm. In fact, dare I say, it might even be more cool to not smoke weed, guys. <laughs> yeah, everything switched. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Recreational cannabis use is nowadays, it's legal in 10 states, like fully. Lame. Plus Washington, D.C., which isn't a state. Plus sort of is. Uh, plus Guam. And the Northern Mariana Islands. Very hmm. forward thinking out there in the Pacific. Uh, medical marijuana is fully legal in 23 states, plus Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And uh, there's 14 other states which allow medical marijuana, but only for CBD strains. Yeah. There's actually only three states left where cannabis is a crime across the board. We're looking at you. Nebraska, Idaho, South Dakota. Get with the goddamn program, you fucking narcs. Yeah. It's too late. It's yep. too late for that shit. <laughs> Of course, among even fully legalized states, the culture around marijuana and the level of general public acceptance, it varies quite a bit. If you had to single out any one state as a pothead paradise, it would have to either be Colorado or Washington, both of which voted for legalized recreational use all the way back in 2012. Very forward thinking. Mm -hmm. Today, for 420 though, Colorado may take the cannabis crown, thanks to an unlikely ally. Well, not if you're high in the middle of the night and want something to eat. True. But... An ally nonetheless. And that's Carl's Jr., or Hardee's, as people know it on the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's the burger chain most known for uh, its highly sexualized advertisements of busty young women eating 1,500-calorie burgers and spilling sauce all over the place. And, uh, yeah, again, for being called Hardee's, depending on where you live. Side note, Hardee's, they they decided to separate the brands again. They're like, Hardee's, Hardee's is all about, like, family values, and Carl's Jr. is all about, like, Tits and sauce. Well, because Hardee's exists in the South yeah. and in the East Coast, yeah. where it's yeah, it's, it's mm-hmm. a bit different. Carl's yeah. Jr. They, they, we don't give a fuck. Yeah. Just eat our burgers, mm-hmm. damn it. So uh, they've thrown their hat in the ring as the first ever fast food chain to sell a CBD infused menu item, exclusive in just one single location in Denver, Colorado. You better wake up early. Mm-hmm. Well, now, you've already missed it by yeah, now. Yeah, it's it's too late. To be clear, the Rocky Mountain High Cheeseburger Delight will not get you high. It contains absolutely no THC, which is the main psychoactive chemical in marijuana. What it does contain, though, is CBD. And if you don't know what that is, let's try to explain. In any cannabis plant, there's at least 113 different chemicals called cannabinoids that affect the human brain in some way or another. Depending on the plant, the ratios for these cannabinoids can vary quite a bit, and that's what adds up to create the specific high for any given strain. Like a fine wine. Mm-hmm. Depending on what side of the hill the, the grapes are grown yeah. on, and in what region, it, it, it's just limitless. Yeah. yeah. Mm. True connoisseurs can spot the difference. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Supposedly. And the taste. Yeah. But uh, up until fairly recently, the main goal of cannabis cultivation was just maximizing THC levels because mm-hmm. people use cannabis to get high, and the more THC, the higher you get. That's it why it's that simple. It's really funny when you see like videos on YouTube of uh, parents getting high when they got high in the 70s, and it's like one puff, and they're like, Jesus fucking Christ, did I just yeah. do LSD? They used to like, I mean, yeah, the weed back then, they it was kind of just grown outdoors. They, they'd smoke like the leaves, the whole thing. There, it, was, it was a simpler time. Mm-hmm. It was... Now it's like yeah. a, it's like the IPAs. It's the race to like the highest alcohol content or hop content. Yeah, it's just, THC calm is just like, down. Yeah, that's the thing that got me off of it was the fucking dabs. When they invented dabs, I was even, just like, even in our lifetime, from the time when I like first, you know, puffed the devil's lettuce to like five to ten years later when I kind of yeah, dropped off completely. Yeah. yeah, like it just it got too strong. I was like, just chill the fuck out, guys. Funny story. Uh, first of all, I had a gummy before I came. Uh, so, it's fine. It has CBD in it. Calms you down a little Are bit. Are we going to know when it hits? <laughs> it's, it's working. Um, <laughs> I'm just calm. It's not like a okay, crazy Okay, okay. Uh, but anyways, the first time I ever smoked weed, uh, my friends got me to do it. And oh, I was, peer I was like, pressure. I was like 23. I was very... Yeah, because you were a I fucking straight-edge straight edge yeah. kid. So, like 23, and I go outside on the, uh, the balcony. What would Ian Mackay of Minor Threat think of me now? Mm, probably not very much. But uh, I'm some. I, he's like, my friends are like, we're gonna do everything. All you do is breathe it in. Mm-hmm. So like, they have the bowl and they they start lighting it and doing the whole thing. And I had never even smoked cigarettes, so I take in this like 
I inhale it, mm -hmm. and like it hits me, and I freak out, and I blow the smoke back in, but into the bowl, and it popped the cherry out into my eye, oh, and no. I freaked out, and went, Bruh! and then the bowl went over and smashed on the ground. Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow! So, good first experience. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed you you uh, persisted after that. But it was a good trip for like eight years before dabs were invented. You didn't just and then run home it. and never call your friends again? No. We, I became a cities? huge, huge fucking pothead. Like, that was awesome. I need to do that again. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, anyways, yeah. <laughs> in recent years, the role of the cannabinoid cannabinidal. Cannabidiol? Cannabidiol? They all have very similar names. It's like Game of Thrones. It just It's CBD. Yeah. Cannabidiol. CBD. Yes, yeah, CBD. It's gained importance, especially when it comes to medical marijuana, because as it turns out, CBD might in fact be the primary reason cannabis can even be used as medicine. CBD is non-psychoactive, but there's a lot of evidence for it being effective treatment for epilepsy, anxiety, and chronic pain, among other things. The gummy I took, 75% CBD, 25% THC. It's all about those ratios. That, that's no the, anxiety. That's the new connoisseur thing, is the ratios. Yeah. I don't need the anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anyways, there's still a lot of debate over whether or not CBD requires the presence of other cannab cannabinoids like THC to work properly or even work at all. But the CBD industry has taken off nationwide in recent years thanks to the fact that growing hemp, which contains barely any THC and lots more CBD, has been legal in several states for years and more recently was made legal nationwide as long as the THC levels remain low. Yeah, so the legal status of CBD at the federal level is very much tied to THC and is therefore kind of fucking confusing because mm -hmm. our laws are confusing. Yeah. Uh, since hemp cultivation is now legal at the federal level, CBD derived from hemp is A-OK -okay for the feds. CBD derived from marijuana is not. Mm. Now, since hemp and marijuana, specifically cannabis sativa, are technically the same species of plant, the difference is fairly arbitrary. It comes down to whether the plant contains more than or less than 0.3% THC. However, there are, you know, there's tried and tested processes for separating CBD from THC in the lab, regardless of a plant's THC level, so it's kind of fucking stupid to regulate CBD this way. It basically amounts to CBD's legality just being about whether or not these chemicals were at one time touching some other chem chemical that's no longer there, but, you know, it's tainted. Mm. Uh, by the way, this is all on top of the fact that if they wanted to, the federal government could absolutely go right back to having the DEA and FBI raid cannabis dispensaries anywhere in the in the country, regardless of state law regarding cannabis. They could. It's it's still outlawed federally. So yeah, uh, yeah. It because marijuana that's more than 0 0.03 THC, it's still a Schedule One substance under the law, right alongside cocaine, heroin, and LSD. Equally bad things, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> So yeah, it's still complicated to a pretty stupid degree and actually even more complicated thanks to the rise of CBD and the fact that every soccer mom in America is just loving CBD. Yeah. It's yeah. a good industry to be in. CBD is like the new pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the, the, the uh, fourth hour on the Today Show when they drink uh, wine yeah. or, or uh, champagne. Now they're switching to CBD and just yeah. see, see what happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's see what happens. Carson, come over here. You used to smoke weed. You were on MTV. Am I tripping right now? Is he on, uh... Yeah. Kathy Lee and... Who? He's on the Today Show. He is? Yeah. Who hosts the Today Show now? Uh, you got me, but I know Carson Daly's on there. Oh, good for him. Still uh, around. Uh, anyways, burgers. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Trailed <laughs> what, off what there. What were we talking about? Trailed again? off there for a little bit. The Carl's Jr. 420 exclusive Rocky Mountain High Cheeseburger Delight is fully federally legal because the CBD in the burger's CBD-infused Santa Fe sauce is not sourced from, or, or it is sourced from hemp and not marijuana, even though they're the same species of plant. Yeah, anyways, as we said, the cheeseburger delight, get it? C, B, D. It's funny. It's only available for one day, today! Yeah. At one Carl's Jr. location in Denver, the one at 4050 Colorado Boulevard in the Park Hill neighborhood next to the Popeyes. Give us the Szechuan sauce! <laughs> no, 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 wrong internet meme. Now, by the time this video is live, the drive through line will presumably be, you know, halfway down Hopefully the street. Hopefully not. Don't, it, everyone that's gonna go get this is definitely celebrating the holiday and should not be driving. Uh, yeah, that's do a, probably do a, a pretty fair, like, <laughs> I don't think anyone's showing up do a sober. Anyway, yeah, by the time, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the burger. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you may be wondering, how much does this burger cost? Well, 
Four dollars and twenty cents. Oh, they got. Come you. on, come on. You could have guessed that. Yeah. As for how much CBD you'll actually be getting for that surprisingly reasonable price, uh, not a lot. Uh, just five milligrams per serving, which is um, pretty low compared to like the doses favored by daily users. Mm -hmm. Some people even go higher. But yeah, five milligrams, not gonna really do much. Yeah, uh, They're also carding customers' IDs to avoid selling this burger to anyone under 18, which is odd and arbitrary since CBD has no legal age requirement and marijuana's age requirement in Colorado is 21. 18, also, that sounds good. So far, the fact that, they're, first of all, the fact that they're putting it in a burger, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, but, sure. But also, if you're putting it in a burger, you probably understand that there's essentially no side effects to this, especially when ingested yeah. in a sauce. It's not gonna do shit. Oh no, all these 16 year olds are walking around without a care in the world. If anything, I, I do like that they, because this is a very spicy burger. It's got jalapenos, it's got that Santa Fe sauce. You need something to calm you down. The CBD, like one of the uh, supposed effects of CBD is that it uh, reduces inflammation, uh, especially in the stomach. Ah. So uh, if, you, if you have trouble with spicy food, a little CBD in the, in the hot sauce, it might just make it all go down a little easier. Tapatio, get on the phone Come with on, the distributor. Come on, Tapatio. Get those I know that man on the bottle is high as a kite. He is. You can't tell me otherwise. Uh, oh, you could also only get two of these burgers at a time, though whether that's for liability's <laughs> sake or due to limited supply is unclear. It's probably Listen, because... there's a very, 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 very tiny possibility that this is going to get someone killed. The, so we gotta. The people working at this Carl's Jr. after when they close down are just gonna be squirting the leftover stuff in their mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, if the promotion goes well, Carl's Jr. says that there's a potential for this item to become more widely available. I say put it in the Impossible Burger. Yeah. You can just chemically introduce things to that. America's most forward-thinking burger. <laughs> yeah. It's it's vegan and it relaxes you. Yeah. So I, didn't to, I didn't have to kill a cow, and it helps my sciatica. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, if you're one of those people that stays away from sinful substances like mm. the devil's lettuce and isn't too happy about how close this year's fake marijuana holiday is to your very real holiday about Jesus rising from the dead, well, don't worry. We've got some culinary news for you as well. You'll have to wait ten and a half months for it to be really relevant to you again, though, since Lent is either over already or ends tonight, depending on your particular church's interpretation. Hey, what happened to that guy with the beer? We'll get to him. Oh, good. But if you're a good Christian who gives up uh, eating meat on uh, every Friday during Lent, and you just can't stand that one day out of the week without the meat, well, here's a little Christian life hack from the Catholic Archdiocese of Detroit. According to them, you can eat meat without breaking your meat fast by chowing down on rodents. No, I think I'll just stick to meat vegetables today, but thanks. I'd rather just spit in God's <laughs> face. Uh, it's actually a local tradition uh, in this area dating back 200 years. Uh, Catholic missionaries at the time decided that since Lent came at the tail end of winter and winter in Detroit fucking sucks, it would be unreasonable to tell people whose food supplies were already low that they couldn't eat meat on Fridays during Lent. So they made an exception for muskrats, the small local water-loving rodents which resemble a cross between a squirrel and a rat. They're real cute from the front and just horrifying from the back. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, you can eat meat, but only the least desirable meat around. God, such a trickster. Can people celebrating Lent eat meat on another day in a Friday's restaurant? Ooh, there's a loophole. Yeah. I there mean, I, I think you have to give up TGI Fridays for all of Lent. Because no. it's always Friday. But here's the workaround. <laughs> On Friday, you go to Ruby Tuesdays. Oh! <laughs> we oh. get it. <laughs> <laughs> You've solved it. You've solved a 2,000-year crisis. I immediately get sniped from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he knows too much. <laughs> Anyways, uh, somehow this tradition of eating fucking rats has persisted in the greater Detroit area to this day. As for what muskrat tastes like, I'm sure you're curious, local priest Tim LeBeau told the Associated Press, I think muskrat tastes like muskrat, and I don't think anyone can compare it to anything else. Well, now I want to try it. <laughs> yeah. uh, he did acknowledge, though, that some people say that it tastes like duck, which, if so, sounds kind of great, but we have our doubts. Uh, Reverend LeBeau also quoted a line from a now-deceased local Michigan bishop who said this, Anybody that eats muskrat is doing an act of penance worthy of the greatest of saints, which doesn't seem like something you'd say about food that wasn't absolutely disgusting, unless they're just letting anyone be a saint these days. I, I don't know. Uh, 
I have no opinion on this at all. Eat the rat. Yeah, do whatever you want. If if you think this is putting you in God's good graces, it's not hurting anybody. Apparently, like it's hurting muskrats. But the the churches in the area, for you know, going back forever, they've had like fundraisers and like community dinners. We'll have like a muskrat cook-off, and they said like in recent years it does gangbusters because all the youths are like they're treated like this man versus food situation. They're like. Are you a bad enough dude to eat the fucking rat? Have some muskrat muffins. Mm. But yeah, uh, that priest, Father LeBeau, he uh, himself offered what seems like a better take on the whole eating muskrats thing, saying, quote, The people that ate muskrat many, many years ago were poor. They didn't have much. And so in terms of people that do eat it, it does remind us, at least it reminds me, of the poor. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, a little sacrifice. Yeah, sure. Like, some people out there have to eat fucking rats. And you know what? And some people do it by choice. In solidarity, I will eat muskrat by choice. Hmm. So I can feel solidarity with these rat-eating poor people. I, I kind of want to try it. Mm. I, I mean, I've, I've, I've tried definitely worse tasting things than if someone cooked this up correctly. So. I mean, I've, I've eaten, like, rabbits. This oh, is I sort of like that. a rabbit. I had pig intestine, chicken hearts, uh, chicken gizzards, legs... Horse, pet horse. Horse is delicious. Well, but don't tell. Don't them. tell the Americans. <laughs> they love their horses. Yeah, I'm sorry. I our horses are for two two things: buying for our daughters. Yeah, and and abusing with drugs, steroids, yeah. and whipping so they can race for us. How could you do something so barbaric as eating a horse? The the right way to treat a horse is to make it run until it breaks its legs and dies, and then yeah. you shoot it in the head. Yes, with a little tent around so the children can't see. Mm-hmm. That's the right way to treat a horse. Yes, you fucking barbaric weirdo eating a horse? Sad. My God. But speaking of Lent, we might as well check in on another Lent story. This is the one I'm very excited about. Here's the results. Del Hall of Cincinnati, who for the last six weeks has gotten all of his nutrition from beer, no solid foods, just beer, three to five per day, Ruby Tuesdays, TGI Fridays, doesn't matter where he gets it. I don't need a food menu. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get man size. Uh, last time we checked, it sounded like it was going surprisingly well for him. In fact, he was losing an insane amount of weight, which at first glance sounds counterintuitive since beer is full of calories and carbs. But when it's the only thing you're consuming and the calories and carbs add up to less than what you were getting before, you're going to lose weight. Well, as of his most recent weigh-in video on YouTube from this past Wednesday, Del Hall was down from 292.5 pounds to 251.1 pounds. Yeah, so that's 41.4 pounds lost in just a month and a half by giving up all food and switching to beer. That's 14% of his body weight gone. Anyways, as for how he's actually feeling at this point, uh, his most recent vlog about the beer fast from last weekend uh, indicates things are still good. Uh, His sense of smell is still a huge problem, which makes being around delicious fragrant food uh, just agonizing. And he describes his bowel movements as a, quote, gross, watery sludge. But other than that, uh, it sounds like things are going great. Uh, His beer fast is soon coming to an end, though, so transitioning back to solid food, going to be a bit tricky. He says that over the next week or two, he's going to gradually work his way up from bone broth to fruit smoothies to soup with vegetables in it to salad and steamed vegetables to meat and finally dairy. And I'm sure... He's got a plan, and he's sticking to it. Yeah, like, he's not doing this haphazardly. The guy, he's put a lot of thought in this. Well, he's going to want to keep that weight off, though, so I'm wondering if, like, this this whole event will inspire him to get in better shape in general. Well, I mean, at least for a while, because, like, your stomach kind of... uh, Well, it shrinks. Yeah, so he's going to, for at least a while, he's going to get full a lot quicker than he used to. But, I I mean, yeah. But as soon as you take the gloves off and you're like, you can have a fucking hamburger, it's like, I'm eating that hamburger. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's got CBD in it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, before we get into the headlines part of this show, it's time to talk about this week's sponsor, Quip. Brushing your teeth is one of those things that you got to do. But a lot of us haven't been doing it properly this whole time. No! Quip is a better electric toothbrush created by dentists and designers, and it's designed to make brushing your teeth more simple, affordable, and even enjoyable. I love it. I, I do love this product. So, yeah. it, again, this is a very easy ad for us. Now, you probably know that you're supposed to be brushing for two straight minutes, but Quip takes the guesswork out of that by giving you a vibrating pulse every 30 seconds to tell you to switch sides. Uh, you might also think that with electric toothbrushes, the more power, the better. Uh, you would uh, be wrong. Quip gives you a nice, gentle vibration. 
you get to keep your enamel. It turns out a lot of people brush too hard. And a lot of electric toothbrushes are too abrasive. You don't want that. Yeah, it also it has a very nice multi-use cover that mounts on your mirror when you're home and turns into a travel case when you're on the go. It's extremely convenient. And since Special the design. Yeah, it, since the battery lasts three months on a single charge, you don't have to worry about charging. Quip even sends you a new brush head automatically, and uh, they do that every three months for just $5. Because it turns out 75% of people are brushing with old, worn-out bristles that aren't even effective. I just got my replacements. I didn't even have to worry about it. It just showed up. Great. Wow! We both use Quip. We obviously love it. Uh, it's simple. It's effective. It's not a big old eyesore like some electric toothbrushes That's can the be. biggest thing for me. Yeah. It's very small. It's very small. You can, it fits in your pocket. But don't take our word for it. They've also got the backing of 20,000 dental professionals and the American Dental Association. ADA approved. <laughs> Quip starts at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash weeklyweird right now, you'll get your first refill pack for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash weeklyweird. And this episode is sponsored by uh, another thing that's very easy to uh, talk about, HelloFresh. Hello, Fresh. Uh, if you've been on an all-beer diet for six weeks and are looking to get back into eating delicious but home-cooked solid foods, HelloFresh is for you, Dell. Uh, HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that shops, plans, and delivers step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured ingredients so that you can just cook, eat, and enjoy. They do all the tedious work of planning, shopping, and prepping for you so you can focus on the fun parts cooking, and eating healthy, delicious meals. These meals come together in 30 minutes or less. They call for less than two pots and pans, and they require minimal cleanup. So if getting into cooking seems like it might be a little daunting, here's your easy way in. And if you already love cooking, get out of that recipe rut and start cooking outside your comfort zone by discovering new, delicious recipes. They got three plans to choose from, classic, veggie, and family, with the option to switch between them for when your tastes change. They've also got fun menu features uh, to mix up, like dinner to lunch, 20-minute meals, gourmet, one-pot wonders, and more. We got to try HelloFresh for the first time recently, and we love the fact that the ingredients for each recipe come in separate bags. The recipes are easy to read and follow along with. There's never too much of a time commitment between busting out the ingredients and sitting down for a delicious home-cooked meal. And you can get $80 off your first month of HelloFresh by going to hellofresh.com slash weeklyweird80, and then you enter the code weeklyweird80. There's information down below in the description. Uh -huh. uh, it gets you $20 off each of your first four boxes. Uh, it's basically free food at, at some point. So yeah. go to HelloFresh.com slash WeeklyWeird80 and use that promo code WeeklyWeird80 at checkout. Thank you uh, both sponsors. Great this week. Very happy to have them. Thanks for sponsoring the show because we talked about weed. Can't do it yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, you can't talk about weed on YouTube. We get demonetized for talking about weed on YouTube. Meanwhile, the CEO of YouTube is meeting with a guy who jizzed on his cat. Yeah. They met up. We should have we talked about bestiality instead of weed. Be talking with the CEO right now. <laughs> yeah. Susan, what do we got to do more of? Fucking cats. Mm, she loves it. Mm. Anyway, on to some headlines, uh, starting with, let's take a trip down to Florida. Florida teen attempts RKO wrestling move on high school principal, police say. Wouldn't it have been great to be there at the high school when this happened? I mean, there's video of it. Yeah, I bet people were cheering the entire time. Well, he didn't get far. He sort of, he walked up to the principal and he's like, RKO. He went like this. And then the principal immediately put him in a headlock. Sir, I am an adult. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then like five days after that, teen who tried RKO move on principal arrested for doing it again to a plastic alligator. Which, whose alligator was it? Was that a mall? Uh -huh. they had the mall fountain. Oh. And there was a, you know, a, not a real alligator. They, they probably could have found one. But uh, yeah. So he did the, the RKO to the principal first, got arrested. The judge is like, what the fuck is this? Just, just stay away from the principal. Don't do anything. And alligators. And then five days later, see, he had he had RKO'd the alligator actually before he did it to the principal. But uh, when he got arrested for RKOing the, or trying to RKO the principal, the, the mall security saw that news. And they're like, that's the kid that fucked up our alligator. So he got arrested again. And the, the, the courtroom video <laughs> being brought in the second time, the judge is just like, you gotta find something I'll else. I'll fucking to RKO do. you, Judge. <laughs> I'll fuck come up there right now and RKO nah, you. He, he, he and knows, the bailiff. He knows he fucked up. Well, this is the kind of thing you do in high school that makes you a legend in high school, yeah, that's, but immediately forgotten. Yeah, that's and that's the whole thing. Like uh, one of the, the Miami Herald or whatever, they they like they talked to like his sister and he's she's just like he was just doing it for the followers. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. So back in the day, you you do something like this, you know couple dozen people, maybe, think you're cool. 
Yeah. You pull this off in the modern days, you're a fucking legend. Well, that was the best part about doing it back then was because even if what you did was like just slightly cool, mm -hmm. then the word of mouth carried it. And it would get better and it better. Would, the story would grow and yeah. get better every time. Now, Did you hear he killed his principal? Yeah, he fucking killed the guy. Whoa. Yeah, his principal told me he had a small dick. He shoved <laughs> his dick straight through his skull and fucked yeah. him. Yeah. I heard he like <laughs> choke slammed his principal off the roof. No, he, he choked his principal with his big dick. <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't know. It's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we should fuck this guy. Yeah, we should definitely <laughs> we buy should. him beer. <laughs> Uh, don't do any of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, drunk Florida man arrested at Olive Garden after eating spaghetti with his hands. And there, there was like another headline for this. That was, was like, like eating spaghetti like belligerently, belligerently. belligerently. <laughs> and I and I like looked at it. And I was like, how else do you eat at Olive Garden other <laughs> than <laughs> belligerently? Yeah, especially that bread. Yeah, because it's unlimited, so you got to eat it fast. So they keep bringing it out. Yeah, they and, need to do a special unlimited wine promotion at uh, yeah. Olive Garden. And I, I checked; it's not illegal to belligerently eat your food. Uh, he, well, the reason he got arrested was because he was like drunk and disorderly and just, you know, yelling at all of the other Olive Garden patrons. Who Sir, are, it is my daughter's birthday. Every year we take her to yeah. the Olive Garden and you are ruined. when you're here, you're family. Yeah. But you are not being very familial right now. <laughs> we kicked this guy out of our family. Yeah. But uh, yeah, when the cops showed up, he had already like left the restaurant. He, he had brought his plate of spaghetti outside with him and he was just fucking going to town on that. He's like, if I have to leave the premises, I'm getting my goddamn money's worth. With this big bowl of spaghetti. Yeah. He probably would have put put it on his head. <laughs> the cops, they, they they got to him too fast. If you close your eyes, it's like you're eating worms. A little fun trick I like to play. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Celebrate this Easter by snorkeling with Jesus in the Florida Keys. Oh, that's fun. Does his robe weigh him down? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's... Uh... Yeah, probably. I mean, but, yeah, I'm sure he's all I mean, he, he actually is weighed down. He's stuck to the bottom. Because it's a statue of Jesus that oh, they, they put in a, in a coral reef. So they're like, oh, like, you can snorkel and, like, pray underwater. I don't know. It's fucking dumb. Yeah, why, they, they should just have a Jesus snorkeling as well. Yeah, they should they should pay uh, a Jesus impersonator to snorkel with them and be like. That would be much, much better. Because yeah, Jesus loves the, the thumbs up. Yeah. You, you want, you like, oh, you know what would be cool is if they have them, like, planted. And then they go down and they worship to, like, the, the fucking coral reef one. Mm -hmm. And they all come up and they're getting on the boat and it's like, he has risen! <laughs> and, like, a Jesus comes up in wow. the water. On one of those, uh, on one of those like, jet foot, uh, water jet things oh where you God, go flying. Yeah. And he goes flying away. That would be even better than, like, the Waterworld show at uh, yeah. Universal. I think we're on to something here. We need to move to the Keys. Yeah. Like, open up a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and just retire. The Keys, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man dressed as Batman gets swiftly rejected by police when he offers to help fight, fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Uh, no. Get no, the fuck out of here. God. They were like, this guy every weekend. It, so there was like a comic. I don't remember where this, I think somewhere in Canada, but there was like a comic convention or something nearby. This guy was fully decked out in like Bruce Green style fucking Batman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and driving past. It was like a fucking arm standoff. There was a domestic disturbance. Like the cops were like on edge, ready to like, you know, Get violent if things got to that. Mm -hmm. And like the Batman walks up, he's like, "Hello, officers. Do you need my assistance?" They're like, "Oh, get the fuck out of here! No, Batman, go <laughs> away!" Yeah. Dork. God damn it! Yeah, you fucking dork. Uh. <laughs> God, it just has been so frustrating. Yeah. For me. <laughs> no, Batman. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. Go back to the convention. You stink. You smell bad. You You've smell, been walking around uh, all day in that terrible. suit. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Man acquitted on charges he tried to fatten himself up with fried chicken to avoid army service. Oh, it's just like Ted Nugent. Well, Ted Nugent, like, uh, didn't change his clothes for a week. He and pissed just, his like, pants pissed and, and shit his pants. Yeah. And then 20 years later was like, actually, I was lying about all that. Yeah, actually, I love the troops and I totally would have served, but, like, you know, I couldn't. I had to catch scratch fever. Yeah. So. Uh, no, this guy, this is in South Korea where they have mandatory uh, government service, uh -huh. military. Uh, this guy, they, he went to, like, he turned up for... You know, his when he when his number got called and they're like, You! You've been fattening yourself up so you don't pass the physical, right? Yeah. They also accused him of like hunching so he would wouldn't meet the height requirements and for like uh I don't know, just about like but he he, he got a quick bunch of play doh on his on his feet to look like he has flat feet. Oh they they said he got a little drunk too beforehand, so like sure, he wouldn't uh you know, his his coordination would be off. Uh but he, so this went all the way to trial. <laughs> Apparently, and uh, 
he he got off because he was like, Your Honor, I'll have you know that I've been fat my whole life. Yeah. I did not fatten myself up for this. That would that would require me to have been thin at one point. Yeah. I've always eaten more fried chicken than was than your average man. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. So good for him, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Snot Otter emerges victorious and vote for Pennsylvania's official amphibian. Hmm. I don't know which one I want to eat first, the snot otter or the muskrat. I'm going to go with muskrat because the snot otter is uh, is repulsive. Does it just look like a, like a seventh grader with just like boogers all down his face and on his shirt? It just, it looks like something Nickelodeon would sell in the 90s to kids being like, isn't it gross? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. And the name snot otter, it, 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 it's like one of those phrases like snail Why trail. Why did they just say, it make just... it snotter? That's a good point. Well, the real name is the... Uh... <laughs> The Hellbender <laughs> Amphibian? You can change names. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, in any case, apparently it's uh, really badly endangered. So uh, I guess they're they're doing this to get some attention. Good thing it. no one wants to fucking touch it or go near it. Yeah, well, that's not what's killing it. Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... More like pollution. <laughs> with a lot of endangered species, it's like, hey, humans, stop fucking around. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, if this is pollution, then fine. That yeah, is our he's fault. an amphibian and he's just absorbing every yeah. bad thing we put in the water. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I just thought that there was some kind of apex predator out there hunting no, down the... No. It's like eating... If you're a if you're a predator, it's like eating uh, a hamburger with sauce. Yeah. With CBD sauce. Yeah. You bite into it, it's juicier. Mm. Yeah. This uh, this not otter looks very juicy. These muskrats are too dry. Mm. Ugh. Ugh, like <laughs> grandma's turkey. Get out of here. Ugh. I want the cheeseburger deluxe. Mm-hmm. The snot otter. <laughs> Uh, angry Ohio <laughs> restaurant patron threw iguana at manager. People have been throwing uh, reptiles at people recently. Yeah, that's fucked up. Like, yeah. I mean, it's you know, not, one person does it and copycats. Start. Not nice. This guy, he uh, there's no video. I wish there was because they're like he got in an argument with his servers and stuff, and then they're just like he reached under his shirt and pulled out this like three foot iguana. So he's just walking around with this iguana. Like, Turns him on. Yeah, like a concealed carry iguana. Yeah. And just so he can, like, throw it. Ha-ha! Bet you weren't expecting this, huh? What we should do is rip the tail off and throw it at him because it'll grow back. True. Yeah. That's what I've heard. It just shoots back and then he throws another one. Yeah, I mean, that's a renewable resource. Exactly. True. Got to be smart about it. Yeah. Anyway, it sounds sounds like the, uh, the iguana's doing fine now. I, th- I hope in, so. It sounds like it's in better hands. Get me back to those nipples. Mm. I want to lick the salt. <laughs> Actually, the iguana was the one that wanted to fight. He was like, let me at him. Let me at him. Toss me. I'm constantly having to t- t- hold him Give back. me a toss. No, no. We'll get in trouble again. No. You can't, I can't throw you at any more restaurant management. Oh, he's tickling my nipples. I got to do it. Oh, God. Got to do it. He'll bite me. Mm. His mouth's filthy. Uh, I don't want to get sick. I'm going to throw the iguana. <sighs> Stalin's approval rating among Russians hits record high. They know he's dead, right? Yeah, he's been dead for about I think like sixty some years. Uh, but you know, it's it's like how it's like how a lot uh, George H. W. Yeah, Bush has looked well, back upon even, like even George W. Like an alarming number of people who fucking hated W. For yeah, uh, absolutely valid reasons are like, man, I wish George, I, I miss George W. Bush. Like, no, you fucking don't. No, no, he you a, don't. He was a bad person who yeah. goes into a real bad war. But also. Now that he's done and doing paintings, he just seems harmless and lovable. Well, he's harmless because he's incapable of like, yeah, yeah. like controlling. But that's the a problem. Military branch. <laughs> that's the problem. Is you you can have a, a decent person that you want to have a beer and hang out with, but when yeah. they have any kind of power you give and a bunch of people, yeah. other like, people, they get people killed. Yeah, yeah. It's like I like my dad. I like drinking with my dad. If he was president, if it, it would be the end times, <laughs> it would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fine. Look, yeah, George W. Bush. Now that now that they've taken away, you know, the joystick from him, he's, he's yeah, fine. yeah. But the, the man uh, who it's mis- not, no forgiveness. He Mister Magooed himself in and out of a, pre- a presidency, and yeah, he, we're all worse off for it. But like, yeah, in Russia, it's the same thing. They're just like, ah, today sucks. But I mean, you remember under Stalin when like things were good? We had all that really cool poster art. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like just like workers, just like kicking ass. Bulging muscles just... Made you feel everyone, proud yeah. to be a Russian. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. A lot of us got sent off to camps and died Yeah, for speaking out of turn. But, I mean, you know. <laughs> really it, made a man out of you. Put hair on your chin. The fucked up part is, like, Russia has, like... <laughs> like, 
if you look back over the last like several hundred years, they don't have like any period of time where like the average person can look back and be like, wow, things were really better back then. <laughs> like it's just been it's just been shitty for like ah. the average Russian person just forever. I'm not gonna speak for them, but probably like the early nineties were okay. They got their Levi's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, the guy with the stain on his head, he was like, ah, we're cool now, everyone, it's fine. So, yeah, Gorbachev. They're That's just it. like, have you seen this show, Murder, She Wrote? Hey, it's me have and my Calvin Klein Star jeans. Trek, The Next Generation? <laughs> uh, you seen this detective, Columbo? It's crazy. Wow. Sorry, Russians, but you fucked our election. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Breast milk for adults may become new cash cow. A fun headline to write. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's synthetic breast milk. I got pretty grossed out there, but uh, this is the next... Once CBD cools off and becomes oh, like... Dude, it's, okay, CBD in this. It's going to be fucking... Because they're like... Yeah. And, th- and this Concentrated is breast drink. Well, like the chemicals in breast milk have... You, you know, it, it's pretty potent stuff. Babies need it. Uh, and uh, there's uh, enough reason there to think it might help everyone that they're now trying to synthesize it in labs. I'm pretty sure breast milk is just pure liquid stem cells. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but it, it just just don't don't use the words breast milk at all. Like, just call, make up a new word for it. Call it Nipple like, juice. No, just not even, don't use that word either. Yeah. Don't, don't call it milk. Just lactate. Lactate is, is, is good, but that's just cow's milk without the lactose. Mm-hmm. It helps lots of people enjoy uh, um, dairy without... Titty you know. tea. Yeah, still, uh, I just don't want to think about... like it, it, Jug juice. Cause it's, it, like, I'm not going to be able to drink it if I'm picturing like, Mommy, I need milky. Give me my adult milky. Mm, mm, mm. Well, uh, the it, doctor said breast milk's for everyone. The, Give me my apparently milk. Apparently, you won't even try it. I'll just keep existing without even recognizing that this no, exists. No, I'm going to try it because apparently it gives you superpowers. Have you seen what it does to babies? It makes them grow so big. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. Yes. Yeah. That baby doubled in size. My God, what, what are you feeding it? What? <laughs> just that milk out of your tit? Can I have some? <laughs> May I try it? It is sad that you will not let me <laughs> suck that milk, so selfish. that life juice right that out of That baby here. doesn't even appreciate what you're giving it. Yeah. The baby's grown twice as large in a month. Surely you can spare some of that. <laughs> some of that. Well, and then it's a placebo, and the guy's like, I gotta have more of it. Gotta have more. There's, ugh, yeah. So, my, yeah, we'll see how that goes. My athlete's foot is cleared mm. up. I have no lower back pain. I don't even I don't drink get headaches it. anymore. I fill a big old tub full of breast milk and I, I rest my feet in it after a long day at work. And you know what? I feel great. He steps out, he's just covered in fucking like scum and mm. mold. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. Delicious. Final headline men's beards have more germs than dog fur study finds. Gross. You're gross. You're gross. Can't get germs if you don't have a beard. I mean, it is true. There's been like. I don't know. It's not true for me because I bathe, but uh, there there has been like a couple times in my life where I've been like so fucking sick, and uh, I finally like shaved and I got better within days. Like yeah. immediately made a turn for the. Because you would assume that it'd be a filter, but I guess it's not. It just well, not. if you're like blowing your nose and shit all the time, it's just like, <laughs> just yeah. all getting all over that. It's like the thing that catches lint in the dryer. It kind of is. Kind of is. Yeah. Um, I but you know what. Uh, this is like a, a vaccine built into my face. All those, sure, uh, all sure. those things that would kill a normal man. I'm, I'm just getting drip fed them so that uh, you know I'm stronger. Yeah. When, That's why everyone you know, tosses their children into ponds when they when they're yeah, born. Yeah. Got to give them all the bad shit first. Yeah. Get in there with the uh, the snot otters. Give them a good. No, lick. I don't need to vaccinate my kids. I took them down to Hodgkin's pond. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's it for this week's show. Watch a new episode of News Dump. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon yeah. if you if you got the, the, the change, the cash to spare. Yeah. Uh, or join us here on YouTube. Have a happy holiday weekend. Yeah. And, uh, Whichever holiday it is that you partake in. All of them. I'm a fan of all of them. Uh, yeah, bye. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.